G'day everyone, video number 14, doing the bodywork. So currently, um, just the youth sitting in two coats of epoxy. Um, I'm just putting body filler on all the major dings that I can see. Um, I'm going to get all that sanded, I'm just doing one side at a time. I'm going to mask up the factory body line, which you can kind of see there, runs through there. And then the one that runs through the door, comes up here through the middle of the guard, comes down. I'm going to try and retain all those in this ute, so um, that's where I'm currently up to and I'm going to get sanding and I'll come back and see where we're at. Alright, there's the first initial sand, this is where we ended up, you can generally never get bog filling right the first time around, been mashing it with this with some 60 grit. I'm going to put um, a little bit more bog on there just to fill in the bits I missed. Please tell me I'm not alone mixing up bog fill, putting too much hardener in, and it going hard on you. Here's the second bog stage. Alright, the bog's all sanded. And I'm just going to get some epoxy on this. Just on all the areas where I bare metal. And then, then I'm going to mask the lines up and put some oil you need on. Need to remember to wear a mask next time I paint. Um, so. You can see the body line really good with the primer on. The only reason I couldn't just put all you need on before, I probably could have, but I couldn't see the, the line. It's like I need the the light and I need, you know, the primer on so I can try and tape this line up because I just can't see it otherwise. This is a bit out of whack, but it needs to be filled in because it's actually a low that area there so I didn't worry about it because I bought some dolphin glaze so I'm just going to fill in minor stuff with that okay so I'm just masking up the factory body lines and in the middle here I just mask along the um, main line because they can just be sand. So they both look identical. I've spent a good two and a half hours doing this. So this is what I was talking about. Looks pretty funky dude, huh? Two tone. I just realised I fucked my bit up. On this guard here, the line's actually coming up. It's just pretty much from about here down to probably about here. That line needs to come down about to here. My whole plan is to, like at the end, just get the lines in there, make them kind of sharp, and then just feather them, just sand them, and just kind of blend them in like I don't want to define sharp line down the quarter and the guard I just want to try and have them there during the process and then right at the end just sand them pretty much so that they'll um, you'll kind of see them but they're not going to be defined if that makes sense it's kind of hard to explain but in the end everyone will see all right just posting an update on where I'm at now I'm just slowly bogging in all the dings and sanding I'm going to have to put a layer across the bottom here just trying to hope I didn't have to but it's just going to make it easier doing it now and there's a bit of a high here so I'm going to have to try and get bog back to here just to blend all that in a little bit more in the middle here ended up having to um, get a slide hammer 
and uh, weld tags on and there's a ding down here and one down here one here I had to pull them out a bit and there's a few little tiny rust holes too down the bottom I had to weld up so it took a bit this morning doing all that um, tiny bit of bog in there I'm gonna have to do a strip down the bottom um, probably just go overhaul this like the other side and I've got one section up on the roof, which I'm not getting up there to show you. Alright, so I'm redoing the lines. So I just masked off areas I don't want paint on. Because I noticed the line on the door is actually more straighter than curved. And I've got the roof. Oh, Bob. So I'm going to mix up some uh, all you need. At least bad boy stuff. I'm going to do the roof and also this line here is off and also this one I'm just making sure they're right because they're on one side looking different than the other I'm currently just sanding the bog here just by hand at the moment I've got a, that round drawer block just been using that in there to you know cut back into the original line um, Noticed I had a high spot here. It was actually like, yeah, you know, decent. You know, probably that much, like way too high. Like I'd try and cover that up. I'd have that bog fill back to here. I'd have to try and run more into here. So it's just more practical. I just ground around this with a strip disc and I beat that in with a hammer just to get that back in. The other side here. It's turned out really good. I'm just in a little bit in this little gap here, where that's the panel itself is just in a little bit. So, so I just finished up um, all the bog work back here. It's all pretty much done now. There's no major highs or anything, so they'll all cover. Use a bit of um, dolphin glaze, just like a real fine bog fill. Just fill in a little bit of stuff here and there. This area here was pushed in a little bit. I had to build it up a little bit here. Not much, but just a little bit. Um, yeah, a bit of dolphin glaze in there. Fill that in. Down here. And then across there. It's amazing how straight something can look and as soon as you run a uh, block over it you end up with needing that much bog. Alright I ended up mixing up some epoxy instead of the all you need only because it's cold weather it's thought to be you know better for drying and stuff like that but not that you can really see much through the camera you kind of can but it's Looking really good. So that lower section there is now pretty much done. I've got the whole um, bead panel back here. It's all done. Very straight. And I painted the underside. This one here is really good also. Is awesome. All that warpage was just from as I cut this and stretched this out. I had a weld across the top here and weld down. A little bit of warpage in that area. So pretty much needed bog in that whole area that needs welding. And there was a rust repair section down the bottom here. So I had to put some bog across there because there's slight up and downs. Alright, so I just spent another day. Um, I've got another sander from Dave, plastered, did a click and collect, <laughs> um, so I've just finished up here, I just put some of the uh, dolphin glaze on, so I just need a final sand through that area, and obviously I've got to shape this corner here, round that off, and you know, round the, the top section here. 
once. I should probably do that tomorrow and then get some primer on it. Just leveling up that. There's this area here. It was only up this corner. It was in about, you know, four mil. So I've just built four mil bog up pretty much along there. It's not the best way to do it. Like it would have been better to um, cut the metal and bring it out. But the bog way is easy and it's down the bottom. It's not gonna like, sun's not gonna get to it or anything. So it's never gonna have any dramas. It's not in a high chip area either. Up here, um, there was some damage um, in a previous video. There's like, I think it might be the start of this one. There was, I put bulb through here. Um, it's like the, it had a slight hit, pretty much from about here, along to here, and then here, along that door. Um, and what it's done is it's, there's like a factory sort of rolled edge here. You can kind of see how the line is kind of bulged. And then it tapers down at the end. So I'm gonna try and recreate that, which is gonna suck. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more filler on here. And then I'm gonna try and um, recreate this bulge because that was all flattened out through here. So just need to, yeah, try and get the nice rounded edge and then have it tapered it off and then get a slight bulge in the middle, kind of like this here. This side here has the bulge, you know, going straight through. So this side will be a lot easier to fix. So I pretty much finished up the bottom section here. It's pretty much all done. Looks really straight. Still got to sand this way. This bog to dry. I'm going to sand this. So I put all you need on the front here and the top half of the guard, obviously. So what I'm doing here is I just went over it with a block with some 120 grit um, just to find the low spots. So obviously that's a low spot, minor low spot, very slight low spots here, very minor, um, slight low spot here and then obviously at the front here there's a couple through there and on top of the guard we have very slight one here, one here, and then do them, they get bigger. And then that's the aerial hole. So now I've got all them marked up. I'm just mixing up some Dolphin Glows. Because this stuff is like a really fine bog. It's quite a nice, easy to use. And I have. Um, a thin bit of metal bog scraper things so I'm going to mix this up now and chuck it on there and that'll save me using um, you know bucketing on the high fill and sanding and it's a lot easier to just use this get over and done with so this is what I needed for the tailgate on that low section I was trying to get would have made life so much easier but I did it the hard way I'm not doing this the hard way, so. All right, I'll talk too much. So I've got it all on now. Just put a little bit around here to get these um, gaps right at the front here. A little bit down the bottom there. Fairly straightforward. I'll let that dry, sand it. Um, and then sand the back bit. Front done. Down here done. I'll um, fix this line up on the guard. Obviously, like when I paint the guard in this front, I'm going to pull the front off. So I'll sand these corners. Because there was a bit of a um, low spot here. I tried beating this in to get it right, but I just couldn't get it there. So. Um, yeah, it's done. Mm -hmm. Top of guard's done. Mm -hmm. All down there. Uh, and I just finished sanding up here. Uh, for now, um, looks really good. But I'll have to put some um, all you need on, and then I'll be able to actually have a better look at 
this line, make sure it matches over here. All right, solid effort. I've now got um, all you need on all the other areas of the ute. And that bit up here above looks like it was near bang on also. Good. So tomorrow I can um, give it a basic block and yeah, go through and fill in all the low spots and hopefully get it straight. So I've just given this a bit of a once over with the um, panel sander just to go through and um, yeah, find more low spots. Pretty much all the dark spots, uh, areas that I'd put some filler in, a little bit down in there. Um, this area here is a low spot, and this area here, this area here, right here, and then here. Not much, they're literally only like, you know, a millimetre, but it's the sort of thing where you could get away with it if you paint your car white, paint it black, you can't get away with it. Um, yeah, a few little spots in here. Um, yeah, there's a fair bit down here. So I'm going to have to go through and try and fill all this in, which will take a while. Hello. So I had to put a bit of um, filler here because it dipped down the guard like I tried correcting it um, with the radiator support and stuff but for some reason it just wanted to pull down so I had to put a bit of filler in there. Um, I literally just sanded this whole side, been doing filler all day and stuff, all the boring stuff. I actually ran out of um, the dolphin glaze so there's a few little spots here like that here and down here in this corner there's like a few spots that need more but I just ran out I got all the main stuff covered so I'm gonna put another coat of oil you need on just this side and hopefully it's pretty close to being bang on there's a neat little trick here with this um, What's gonna call it? Wax and grease remover. You can do this, and then you can look down. You can see how straight, well, not straight, the panel is. So I'm gonna go over, and I'm gonna wax and grease this thing, and then put some oil on, and we'll have a look. So I've just sanded all that again. Um, I'm going to put one more coat of uh, oil you need on. Um, it's pretty straight, like the top of the doors. You know, there's like one low spot there that'll get covered with the oil you need. Um, you know, it's a couple of specs. The line's still there. The tape line, which I'm going to leave. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to get it to exactly where I got this stage here. Um, and then I'm going to sand the line out that I've put in here. But I just don't want to do it yet until I get the other side done because I want to make a match. So that's the plan. Do the other side um, and then I'll blend that line in on the rear quarter and the door and the guard. And once that's done, I'm going to take the guard, the front nose cone off. And I'm going to paint them off the ute. Maybe the door as well. I might take the door off and paint it off the ute rather than paint it on. So that's why I haven't done anything but down here because I'm planning on taking the guard off to do all that. I just want to try and um, blend in the guard with the door the best I can, which I've done a pretty good job. It's near like bang on, be like half a mil out or something. Same as that body line there, it's pretty much perfect. So, oh, I'm confusing myself. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, one more coat of oil you need and see how it looks this time. 
I'll try running the camera down and see if you can see how straight it is, but it should be like near bang on now. Like the rear quarter, I'll show you the rear quarter. So the lower half's pretty much bang on. Down here will be bang on. Like it's, it's a little bit here that needs to be filled. Very slight, little low spot there. Two stubborn ones there. Um, yeah, up here, because I've gone back to bare metal. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Once I get this coat on, I'll be able to look down and um, then I'll be able to see where I'm at with the rear quarter. It looks straight when I look down it, but it's hard to tell. Okay, final coat of all you need. This is the third coat of all you need in total. And that's gonna be pretty much it. Looks really straight. It's kind of hard to tell in a video. If we get that light off it, probably see a lot better. It's looking pretty neat. All right, guys, so we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, this is gonna be part one. We're gonna have a part two video, um, which will be the next one, maybe two weeks. For a guess um i've got the majority of the work done on this thing now so hopefully not too much longer um yeah so i hope you enjoy the video and i'll let you go and i'll tend to this barking dog peace out and if you're watching if you're watching dave thanks for the sander i'll probably owe you a new one by the time i finish this because it's probably not going to work